Got into the final third 53 times to their 43. Um, we had 18 touches in their 18 yard box to their 12. Um, they outshot us. We had 12 shots, they had 18 shots, which means that our, uh, we outcrossed them 22 times to nine times, which means we did everything we needed to do, but the quality wasn't there in the final third. So I'll take responsibility for it. We got to get back to work and we got to figure out ways to finish goals, but we did plenty tonight to finish the game off. Um, uh, one kid on their team had an absolute worldly. Uh, it was a big goal. Uh, the first goal, they did a good job to spin us. You know, maybe we needed a foul and we'll look at the video, but reality is we had the opportunities to score goals tonight and we didn't. Yeah, and kind of looking at the, of the first half, very physical, very defensive, both teams kind of, you know, poking at each other, you know, making some offensive chances, but not quite uh, finding the back of the net. How did you feel like the first half went and, and what did you like from that? Yeah, I don't, I mean, it's 0-0 at the half against a very good team. They have good players. They're better than us right now. It's showed on the scoreboard again. Um, we have enough quality to score goals in a game like that, and we just didn't do it. So first half, we were good. I just don't think we were threatening enough. You know, we get we get into the final third, and then we pull the ball back out rather than take a chance. So we got we got to do a better job of trying to get a goal. Yeah, and you mentioned in the, the offensive stats and looking at the second half too, um, we're able to really find some dangerous areas um, Addy found himself with some chances. Emmy had a couple really good chances, especially one that was like a fingertip save, really, by the goalkeeper. What did in the in the areas where the team was really performing correctly, in the, in the way that you wanted them and set them up? You know, is that just something where didn't quite find the back of the net, and it's something to build upon in the next match? <laughs> um, again, we had way too many crosses that went out of bounds. We got in areas where we could cause trouble and we let them off the hook. We got across balls into players running onto things. You know, we had chances. Emmy had a couple of good looks. You know, the kid makes a great save on the first one off the back post. So it, we created enough chances to score goals tonight and we just didn't score them. So it, again, there's positives, but it, it stinks to lose. People are going to be unhappy and they'll come after Darren and I'm fine with that. You know, the guys are working hard. We'll get back after it this week and try to correct those things. And you, on their end, um, you know, Greenville scoring a, kind of a worldy goal, having another one where they were able to find that cross across the goal mouth, really kind of leaving shallow and, and you know, not quite savable moments. How do you feel like he he performed outside of those two goals tonight? Uh, shallow was great. The first goal, we made a mistake at the half line. I mean, I don't know how much pressure was on the ball, but you know, Griffin got spun a little bit, and then they got in behind. Right? We knew that that would happen, but we've been giving up goals in a four-back, five-back system. So with three backs, it's uh, they got in behind. Uh, kid passed a very good cross, uh, something that we're struggling at right now, and he finishes it. And then the second one, you know, I don't think Shallow had a chance on the first one. It's a side footer from close range. And then the other, the, the other kid just smashes the ball upper corner. So uh, I thought Shello was good tonight. Um, we saw Guy Franca back uh, coming in as a substitute in the second half after missing a couple weeks due to injury. How do you, how do you feel like his, uh, you know, small cameo was tonight, getting back out on the field? Yeah, injuries have not been kind to us this year. We came into the season with tough injuries. We play an exhibition match and a kid clobbers him and he's out for a couple of weeks. That's tough. It's hard not to have him. Uh, you'll see more of Guy Franca as we go forward. We need him on the park, but I'm glad that he's back healthy. So just to get started off, Nil, obviously a difficult result here uh, round six, the Jaegermeister Cup. Um, you know, what are your overall thoughts on the game uh, to start out with? Yeah, again, another frustrating result, but I think especially the first half, even the start of the second half until we concede, it was very positive. It was very positive. I think we, we found a lot of the of the open man in the midfield and we were able to turn to create chances to change the point of attack. And yes, we have to do a better job at, at creating that final pass um, so we have clear chances, but the team from the start proved that they were there to play, that they showed up. The press was pretty effective for the most part. And I feel we deserved, as in many games, a little bit more. Um, you know, walking through that first half, it seemed like uh, the team was really finding a lot of joy building up through the middle or being able to find somebody on the opposite wing with a crossfield ball. Um, team finding a lot of opportunities in the final third, uh, getting t touches in the box tonight too. What do you feel went well tonight in the build-up and attack? Yeah, well, I think because of the formation, playing three in the back, it almost forces you to look inside. We had, of course, the two sixes, and then Ali and myself always as 
tucked in winger, so 210, so we create the box there and it just creates a numerical advantage. So I think that's something we got better throughout the year, just looking inside to then play outside to, to then change the point of attack. And if we keep doing that, I think we're going to be more successful. Of course, we have to create better chances in the final third, but positive again to an extent. Yeah, and, and you know, despite the 2-0 scoreline, really a tight match. Greenville, uh, they find one on the break where they're able to cross the ball. It's a difficult one already for Shallow to save. And yeah. then the second one is just kind of a, a worldie that's hit from outside of the box. You know, what What do you feel, like, this is just like the soccer gods striking you guys down? Like, you know, what, what are your thoughts just at, on, on how that went out? Yeah, I mean, it's easy to say, you know, we had bad luck, we had bad luck, but it's been a lot of games that on coach we had bad luck. And, and at the end of the day, it's individual defending, individual mistakes, uh, which of course resonates with the team. Um, so we all are responsible with that. We have to do better at those, at those moments. And we knew that Greenville is that type of team that even though we control the game, even though we're creating chances, even though we're on top of them, at any point with the quality that they have on top, they just need to have a chance to create a, a goal, and, and that's what they did. Second goal, I mean, we just can just stare at the, the ball getting the net, and there's not much else to do. But at the end of the day, if someone steps, if we the rebound is farther away, so a lot of things that we have to definitely get better and, and take ownership of that too. Um, I want to revert maybe and just ask you another question about the attack. Um, you know, you and Addy playing in that role tonight, it seemed like you guys had a really nice connection. Um, and we saw more of the old Emmy coming back, being able to play that target forward, coming all the way as, as deep as midfield sometimes. How do you feel like in this third straight start, all three of you guys together, how do you feel like kind of that triumvirate starting to form, you know, as Emmy gets back into full speed, you getting to play with Emmy again, and then, you know, Addy learning to play with Emmy. How do you feel like all that's been going? Yeah, no, I'm, I mean, I think playing with Addy, of course, I knew him from Tormenta, and I, I've always had a relationship on the field with him. When we're closer, more things happen and better things happen for the team. We got to see each other uh, more in that pocket when I'm drilling inside or when he's drilling inside. And of course, Emmy with the quality that he has, he just adds to the team. Both people say that he only scores goals, but it's, he does much more than that. From the press, that he knows how to shape it. From when he receives in midfield and he's able to turn, he always gives advantage and he always improves the play when, when he touches the ball. So, of course, getting more rhythm, the three of us, and, and hopefully scoring more goals together.